Have you ever seen an ad on Instagram or TikTok where they're unboxing a new product or raving about an app? It's very likely that they get paid to make that video by the company and you can actually make money this way too. It's actually really simple. Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our social media series on this channel and we're going to be talking about user generated content creation or better known as UGC. And I wanted to touch on this because I feel like this is a great opportunity for content creators to tap into or even like micro influencers because brands are now seeing this new wave of a marketing strategy to create more relatable content and content that that's going to drive a lot more sales, specifically on TikTok or Instagram. So what is user-generated content? I'm going to explain this in the most simplest terms I can. Basically, brands are paying content creators to make content exclusively for brands to use in social media posts, email campaigns, ads, etc, etc. And I think brands are now recognizing that relatability plays a huge factor. They want to create more engaged communities on social media because they know that their audience is going to be more engaged with relatable content, which is ultimately going to drive traffic to their website and obviously make sales. And it almost makes me think of a new revolution in the influencer marketing world because yeah, you can be someone that has like no followers but is really good at creating content, but you can also be an influencer and brands can pay for your face and likeness to create content for them and almost be the face of the brand. So I think this is a really neat idea for content creators to tap into, even if you don't have a lot of followers, but you like taking video and you like taking photos and you want to almost sell your content for brands to use. So user generated content. It sounds amazing, you used to make photos and videos for a brand, you don't have to have a following. This is amazing, this is opening a new job opportunity for people that want to do this as a living and they can do this. So how do you get started with making user generated content? Now, I recommend this for anyone that does social media management because you're gonna have a strategy in the back of your mind of knowing what is going to work in the video. You're gonna know how to hook that viewer to watch your video. I think it's good for social media managers. I think it's good for micro influencers. I'm a micro influencer myself. It's good to have some experience on negotiating with brands and to create content for brands because ultimately influencers do brand deals as a major source of income. So I think being a micro influencer is going to get you a lot of experience in that. And also it's just good for someone who overall likes content creation. There's people out there that are like photographers or videographers and maybe they want to start working with brands or with bigger companies on bigger projects. Now before I continue with how to really get started, the most important thing is you need to be comfortable being on camera most likely you're going to be talking to the camera, talking about the product, reviewing the product, and brands want a face to the brand or your face or likeness to create relation in the video. So you're gonna have to be comfortable with being on camera and I know that's a struggle with a lot of people. My biggest tip is to just set your camera up whether it's your camera, your phone, just any kind of camera, and just talk about something you're really passionate about a few minutes a day. Maybe talk about something that's on your mind, what's going on in your day, what you're excited about. Just take a couple minutes every day and just film yourself talking about stuff because ultimately you're gonna work with brands that you genuinely like. So might as well start talking about things you already like or passionate about to get a little bit more comfortable on camera. Now, if you're someone that already is making social media posts, start making more content and posting that on your Instagram or your TikTok. Cause now you already have a really good portfolio to submit to brands of your work of art. Cause that's ultimately what brands want to see is your work of art and your experience. So if you don't yet, it's super, super simple to set up a portfolio. You literally just have to have a file or a link of 
videos you've already done. And if you don't have a social media presence and you don't really want to, you just want to be more in the back end of things, start creating content for products you already have. I love scrolling through TikTok to draw inspiration of content ideas. I would just start watching TikTok more intentionally for content ideas and you kind of not necessarily copy the videos, but do your own version of them, recreate them in a special way. And you can just create content that way and just save those videos on a file. So when an opportunity does come to submit your work, you can just submit that and you don't necessarily have to post it on social media. I feel like the only benefit to posting it on social media is you can actually see the analytics and you can see how well that video performed. I feel like that's kind of what gives social media managers or micro influencers a boost up is you can actually see how well that video performed for them. Um, but that's not necessarily like the determining factor of hiring someone. It ultimately comes down to how good your content really is. So it's best to start making content now, start posting that content now, so then you can kind of gain some social proof on your posts. So how do you make this content? So I'm gonna kind of share a list of things that I use to create user-generated content. So the first thing is a tripod. And you can get a humongous tripod if you want. You can get a ring light tripod, a mini tripod. I'll link some down below of ones I already own. I have many different tripods. And make sure you get a tripod or at least a cell phone holder attachment because most likely you're gonna just film content from your phone. You don't have to have a super fancy camera. That's kind of the beauty of making user generated content is you can literally just use your phone, a tripod, also some really good lighting and you're golden. So again, I'll link some down below and also some cell phone attachments, um, but definitely have like a good tripod, have one with a cell phone attachment, obviously have a phone, or if you wanna get bougie, you can buy a camera if you want, but that's not necessarily like a requirement. I don't create any content with my camera. I literally just use my phone. And this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It honestly doesn't matter what kind of phone you have, as long as it has a good camera. And I feel like this is the most important one because you can make a make do tripod if you want. Um, but the best thing you can get is some good lighting, whether that's some natural lighting in front of a window, a ring light. I have this little mini ring light tripod right here. It has a little attachment for my phone to go on. It's just using as a ring light right now. Um, but it was literally like $12 and I just plug it into my computer and it lights up. It has different lighting modes on it. Super, super simple. It's giving me really good lighting right now. Um, but that's like the most important thing because also viewers like to see videos with really good lighting. So I would say that's like the number one thing you would need. Now you can get fancy with it. I recently worked on a project where I needed to have a green screen. I personally don't own a green screen and I even asked the person if I needed to use it for future projects and she was like, yeah, not necessarily, but it might come up. So what I did to solve that problem is I actually went on TikTok and used the green screen feature with a green colored background. So there's definitely a lot of alternatives you can use when you're first starting out, um, but definitely tripod, phone, good lighting, that's all you really need. So how do you necessarily get your name out there and get hired to do content? I got started was I did gifted collaborations on my Instagram or my YouTube channel um, where I was basically sent product and I created content and I posted it. And that was kind of more of like an influencer brand deal. They could have used that content if they wanted to. Way back in the day, I was like, yeah, let's just do gifted. Now I'm kind of like steering more towards the paid content because I'm kind of seeing the value of my content content and how they can use that for their social posts. That's a whole different video, the influencer brand deal. So for me, I just reached out to brands. I used certain influencer apps and I got free product in exchange for social posts. So that's kind of how I got started making content. And obviously I've been making YouTube videos. I've been posting on Instagram for a while. So I already knew how to make content, but the platform that I used to get my first ever like purely user generated content job is through Upwork. And I actually use this app a lot and it's not sponsored or anything. I hope to get a sponsorship with them one day because they've literally changed my whole freelancer journey. But basically there was a project posting about user-generated content, you know, making content for a specific TikTok account. That was in the beauty niche. I applied 
and I got the job. So I recommend looking into platforms like Upwork or Fiverr. I personally use Upwork because I've been using it for a while, um, but you can also search like content creation or UGC in the search and you can search for a ton of projects. I've definitely seen an influx of different projects for user generated content. And if you want me to do a specific video about Upwork, leave a comment down below. But Upwork does have a lot of postings about user generated content right now. Another way to find projects is reaching out to agencies. Now, a lot of companies actually use advertising agencies to create ads, create ad strategy and all that. And I have recently seen an influx of advertiser agencies hiring out content creators to make user generated content for their clients. So I am actually starting to work with a certain advertising agency to work more in the digital app space and they are just now expanding to have a bigger budget to pay out creators to make content. So if you wanna work with someone like a beauty company like Benefit Cosmetics or Tarte, they probably are going through a advertising agency. So I definitely reach out to that advertiser agency and you know showcase your work and say if there's any opportunity that you guys are looking for user generated content creators, I would be happy to work with you. Because most of the time it's not necessarily the brand that's in control of the ads and creation of the ads. Um, there definitely are brands where they have their own social team and you can actually find social media people um, that work for companies like this on LinkedIn and you can personally message them or personally email them. It takes a little bit of stalking to get into it, but if you really wanna work with a certain brand and you already have the content and the portfolio ready to go, I would just do some research on who their advertising people are, who their creative director, social media person is, and just email them and just say, hey, if there's any opportunities in the future, let me know. So yeah, freelancing platforms, reaching out to agencies, and just making your own content online and having brands notice you, that's another good way. Okay, so you create a content, you reach out to a brand, they want to work with you, and they're asking you for your rates. What do you charge? How much do you charge? I'm not gonna give you a specific number and I'm not gonna share how much I charge, um, but I'm going to share some things to keep in mind when creating a rate. So first off, your face has value. But even if it's a project where you don't have to show your face, your hands have value. So I definitely would kind of put a rate to like how much you would charge to have your face on a commercial, essentially. I would also factor in the product you're creating the content for. How much is that product? Is it super popular? Is it a bestseller on their site? Is it a new product? And I would also factor in the size of the brand. Is this like a huge brand like Benefit Cosmetics or is this a smaller business? Um, maybe even a local business. I would definitely factor that in and also ask the brand what they're gonna use that content for. Is it gonna be for advertising or is it going to be a repost on social media, email campaign, and kind of ask them what that content is for. Because if you think about it, when brands create commercials, they're gonna have a huge budget set for producing, creative director, actors, props, location, etc., etc. So they're gonna invest a lot of money into that ad and you're essentially taking over that work and doing it all yourself. You're creative directing this project most likely. You're gonna be the actor, you're gonna be the producer, maybe even the editor. And I think it's definitely fine if you're just starting to create content and you wanna charge a little bit less because you kinda of wanna gauge what the price point is. I totally, totally get that, but I wouldn't set that price long term. I would definitely fluctuate depending on, you know, the size of the brand, how long you've been creating content for, even how long it takes for you to create content. Maybe one project is going to take you like two seconds to shoot the product, or maybe it's a bigger scale where you have to memorize the script, or you have to rent a location for the certain product, or travel even, or whatever you need. Make sure you factor in those rates as well into your rate. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about UGC, leave a comment down below. I would be happy to answer any of these questions. I feel like I covered everything. This is definitely something that is very new that this has started to happen in the last couple of years. And I feel like this is a great opportunity for influencers or photographers, videographers, 
basically anyone who likes creating content, this is the perfect opportunity to jump on to. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to follow my other socials down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Bye!